Hey everybody, it's Jason Falls. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this past weekend where I posted a little, you know, sort of foodie social media thing from my dad's barbecue. Now, the reason that I did that was because I was on these micro influencer social media platforms, testing the marketplaces out, seeing how they worked, obviously to gain intel to pass on to you to also, you know, sort of have that intel for my clients as well. Um, and on Reach Influencers, one of the platforms that I'm kicking the tires on, and for disclosure's sake, they're also a sponsor of the Marketing Podcast Network, my dad's barbecue actually sent me an invitation to be one of their quote-unquote micro-influencers. Now, I don't, I'm not a foodie guy. I do some bourbon stuff on my Instagram account, but I'm not necessarily a great content fit for a food brand. However, uh, for whatever reason, they sent me an invite, so I thought I'd kick the tires and test it. So I'll show you the little video I put together. Uh, it's a vertical video, so you're going to see some black on the sides here. But I'll show you the vertical video I did for my dad's barbecue just to show you what I did. And then I'll come back and kind of talk a little bit about the nuances of what I found uh, good and bad about that. Check it out. Hey there, everybody. Uh, I'm not really a food influencer, but I get on these micro influencer platforms and test them out. And the folks at My Dad's Barbecue chose me for whatever reason. I guess it's because I'm a dad and I'm a big guy and I wear shirts like dad jokes are how I roll. <laughs> anyway, they sent me a couple samples, original and spicy. So I'm gonna grill out some chicken skewers back there on the grill today for me and the kids and uh, see what we think about My Dad's Barbecue. Let's go cook. Hear the magic. That's just a chicken cutlet wrapped in bacon with a little bit of seasoning on top to tenderize it a bit. 15 minutes on either side and we're gonna eat. Katie's making the sides. All right, there's our spicy and there's our original. We'll give a little taste test. We, this is how we do it in Kentucky. This is the spicy. I probably should do this second, but. Ooh, that's good. It's got some kick to it, obviously, because it's spicy. Ooh, that's yummy. If you like spicy, that's good. I'm a more original guy, so let me try that one. Let me get a, get a swirl here. Oh yeah, my dad's barbecue. Voted best in the neighborhood. I don't know what neighborhood, pretty damn good in mine. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Got that goodness and that goodness to put on it. Here is the finished product. All right, here's the big taste test. Yeah. It's pretty good. I know why it was voted best in whatever neighborhood it was voted best in. My dad's barbecue. Thanks for the samples, guys. Good stuff. That was fun, and my dad's barbecue is pretty good. Now, let me share some observations about why they chose me or that they chose me and sort of how I reacted to that when I, when I got the invite. Now, I'm not a food influencer. I'm not someone who does a lot of outdoor grilling content and things like that. So I don't think I was the right, you know, the more right creator, as it were, uh, for my dad's barbecue to choose. However, I will applaud them for a couple of things. Number one, I've done grilling content before. They've probably seen that. I've done uh, content about being a dad and cooking at home before. So they've probably seen that. So I may not be in the food vertical, but I'm in a concentric circle or two out that's really relevant to their brand. A dad who cooks out sometimes or who cooks out sometimes for his kids, his family, etc. That's not a bad person to send a couple sample bottles to in hopes that they'll post something on Instagram. So I applaud my dad's barbecue for doing that. The advice that I would give them and the advice that I would give you moving your brand forward is certainly you can't live just in your vertical. You've got to extend those concentric circles out. 
but I would be a little, probably a little bit more careful and a little bit more granular about the types of influencers you choose as you grow bigger and get a little bit more targeted with what you're doing. Because in a year when my dad's barbecue blows up because they're really good, I'm not the right creator for them because I just don't create that type of content very frequently. However, if they're gonna send some samples to me or other micro influencers and hope that they'll get some content out of it, not a bad influencer to choose in my opinion. So good and bad with that. I don't fault my dad's barbecue at all for choosing someone like me as a creator. And I certainly don't fault them for sending me a free sample because stuff's good. So check out my dad's barbecue in the links below. You can link back to that uh, original uh, Instagram post as well. So you can see that and like and, and engage there if you'd like. But just some observations and thoughts in uh, my experience of using reach influencers in a micro influencer marketplace where I sort of raised my hand and said, hey, I'm a creator too, and got an offer. It was a really seamless process. A so reach influencers is a good platform. And uh, my dad's barbecue, I think, did a really nice job of saying, hey, if you're you know, up to just receiving a product sample and posting something, we'd like to invite you to be a part of the program. And for some creators, that's going to work. Check out all the links below. Thanks for stopping by.